there is no God. There, they are corrupt. They have no, they have done abominable works. There is none that do good. Praise the Lord Jesus. We will continue by singing 14 from the Pentecostal in the Hebrew. 14 from the Pentecostal in the Hebrew.
asking the God, please to help us to come boldly to the throne of grace. Lord Jesus, help us, O oh God, that we may never keep back nothing from you, O oh God. But we may pour out, O oh God, our differences before you, O oh God, because we know Jesus. O oh God, you is our maker, you is our creator. There is nothing we can hide from you, God. And while we are in your presence this day, dearest God, this is no coincidence, this is no accident while we are here, O oh God. But you have us to be here today, God. We could have gone somewhere else, dearest Father. We could have occupied in other areas, but we choose to be in your presence today, God. Because when we are in your presence, there is fullness of joy. Here is God as we come together. There are various problems here today, God. There are various complaints, oh God. The church is like an hospital law. And you see your people are here, there is God. Many are having various problems, various situations to deal with God. And as we come in your presence, oh God, we pray. We hope in oh God that you may minister to our various cry. Oh God, you see, many as Bishop was saying this morning, oh God, that we can be not crowded and yet we are lonely. We are asking your oh God to fill in the gap for us, oh God, and help us, oh God, to learn to socialize and learn, oh God, to be happy in the presence of the Lord and in the church of uh, the living God. We may know, oh God, how to move around and get around, that we may never become lonely in your presence, God. Father God, as we are here this morning, God, we pray for our beautiful Jamaica. Oh God, such a beautiful country, oh God, that has been recognized by the world, dearest God. But mighty God, we are not handling it the way you want us to handle this beautiful country. Oh God, this country is caught up by so many different situations, God. There are so many hearts has been crying out this morning with pain, with grief, and other need, dearest God. Because of your disobedient, disobedient, oh God, how can a young man cleanse his way but by taking heed to the word of God? And there are so many disobedient souls out there right now, God, and causing so much chaos in our beautiful country. Lord Jesus, we are here to ask for help. We are crying out to you, God, for mercy, God. There are so many, God, that want to come to Jamaica, but they say no, they are fear for their life. their family and don't want to come because they fear for their life. This morning, God, we are asking you for mercy. We are asking you, God, to help us, Jesus, in whatever era we can fit in, whatever we can do to make a difference in this society, God, because we need a change. The place is right. Jamaica is nice. This is our place, God. We have nowhere else to go. So we have to cry out and occupy back our country, our beautiful country. Oh God, may you help us, oh God. The scripture says we are salt, oh God. May you help us the little that we can do in our community, going about spreading the flavor amongst these young guys that are sitting on the roadside, digging out their hand middle dearest God, and chatting so many negative things, oh God. May you help us, oh God, that we can reach to them and make a difference because we need to take back this country from these wrong ones. Father God, the police can do just but what they can. Oh God, they cannot go beyond. Oh God, we have to come together, dearest Jesus, and work as a community, dearest God. Hallelujah. We pray this morning, God, that you may help us, oh God, the ministers of this country, oh God, the leaders, oh God, that they may surrender their lives to you, to you, oh God. Many times, oh God, they come together and they have prayer breakfast, but are they surrendering their lives? Oh God, they believe in the prayer. They believe that there is a God, but they need to do more than just believe, but by turning their lives around and set the example. Oh God, Father God, we pray for this country. This country is on my mind so much, God, the way the country is going. Oh God, if we've if, if we, if we gone poor, Lord Jesus, it's because of how we treat this country. But this is our rich heritage that you have given us, oh God. And we need to take it back from wrong doers. Father God, help us, oh God, as a church, oh God, that we may take a stand in Portland, 
we are make a difference in this society, oh God. And help everywhere in this country, God, wherever your people are, that we may make a difference in our community. Lord Jesus, we pray for those who are sick in the hospital, oh God. Those who the doctor have, have, have gave up on their rest, God. We pray, Jesus, that you may visit them on their sick bed. We pray, dearest God, for those who are in the infirmary, God, have been rejected by family, oh God, and just put down and leave like the man at the pool for 30 and 8 years. I pray, God, that your presence may be in the, in the, in the infirmary right now, God. Even those young men, oh God, who are in, in, the, in the prison, in the jailhouse, oh God, just see like one way. I pray God that while they are in, uh, oh God, in their punishment, oh God, they may look another way. That when they came out back, oh God, they, may, they can make a difference to society, oh God. I pray you speak to them in the prison, oh God. Let them know, God, that whatever brought them there was wrong. Oh God, minister to them, Jesus. We need a change in Jamaica. We need a change in the society, God. Father God, we thank you this morning, dearest Father, that you, and we wasn't anything better, God, but because of you, because of you, why we can ever, Lord Jesus, stand this morning in such a fashion to give you thanks and praise. I thank you for that, God. Many have you to say that the church is not doing anything, but I can see we're in the church have done a lot because we who are in here, we are not wanted by the police. Oh, God, thank you, Jesus, for the church. And may you help us, oh, God, that we may remain in the church and let the church be the church. Thank you, Jesus, for the church of the living God. God. Thank you, Lord. May you help us, oh God, to have a wonderful time here today. And if, if there's any unsaved is among us today, God, in which I know unsaved is among us, I pray, God, that you may touch their heart, God. They could have been somewhere else, oh God. They could, they could have occupied by something else. But because, oh God, you have them, have them to be here today, God, I pray, God, that you may let them go with making a difference, oh God, that when they reach back home and have to work or wherever, oh God, somebody can see the change, somebody can see the difference, oh God, it's full time, we have not much time, Lord, we know that, God, and may you help us, oh God, that we may know that we have no time to waste, it's high time now for us to turn to God as a nation. I pray your blessing upon the rest of the service, God. I pray your anoint or, or speaker here today. I pray, God, your presence may be in the testimony, in the reading of the word, in whatever we say or do, God. I just want to pray, God, your anoint, your presence, to go forth and lead the rest of the service. Cover us, O oh God. Bless our heart. Keep us safe, keep us covered, keep us protected. In the name of the Most High, my Jesus, my Lord, my Savior. Amen. Amen. Where we continue by singing 30 from the Pentecostal in, in the Great Triumph. 30 from the Pentecostal in the, in the Great Triumph. Please remain standing. In the Great Triumph and morning.
verse 3, and we read from verse 1 to 26, and we read the same Acts chapter 4, from 1 to 12, and Sister Marston will do the same for us. Acts chapter 3, from 1 to 20, from 1 to the end, and 4, from 1 to 12. Bless the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Acts chapter 3, reading from verse 1 to the end, we read this chapter responsibly. And then I will read Acts chapter 4, from 1 to 12. Yes. Here beginning. Now Peter and John went up together into the temple at the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. And a certain man who lay from his household was carried, whom they lay daily at the gate of the temple, which is called Beautiful, to ask alms of them that entered into the temple. Who, seeing Peter and John about to go into the temple, asked and harm. And Peter asked his eyes upon him with John, said, Look at us. And he gave heed unto them, expecting to re receive something of them. Then he said, Silver and gold have I done, but such as I have in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Christ of the Lord. And he took him by the right hand and lifted him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength. And he gave him up and walked and entered. And all the people saw him walking and praising God. And they knew that it was Jesus as a man who was in the temple. And they were filled with wonder and amazement at all the fish that had been on the And as the lame man which was healed, Elder Peter and John, all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's great wandering. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye men of Yahweh, when I now look at this, how I look be so earnest in the house, as though by all the power of our holiness we have made this man to walk. The God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers had glorified his son Jesus, whom you delivered up, and denied him in the presence of Pilate when he was determined to let him go. And killed the Prince of Life, whom God had raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. And now, brethren, I know that that true ignorance you did, as did also your rulers. But those things which God before are shown by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you. Whom the heaven must receive unto the times of restitution of all things, which God had spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets, since the world began. Our Lord is to accept unto God, a promise that the Lord your God raised up unto you. Return to your brethren and unto me. They shall be heir to all things, whatsoever you shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear the prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Hear all the prophets from somewhere. And those that fall apart, as many as spoken, have likewise fulfilled of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets, 
and of the covenant which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you the earth of our country, the Son Jesus, and in the to bless you, and in turn and away every one of you from his healing which you are one to do it, I read. And as they spake unto the people, the priest and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them, being grieved that they taught the people, and preached to Jesus the resurrection from the dead. And they laid hands on them, and put them into hold until the next day, for it was now evening time. Albeit many of them which heard the word believed, and the number of the men was about five thousand. And it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers and elders and scribes, and Annas the high priest, and Caiaphas, and John and Alexander, and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem. Now when they had set them in the midst, they asked, By what power or by what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Ghost, said unto them, Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deed done to the impotent man, by what means he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom he crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand before you whole. This is a stone which was set at naught of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. To everlast, neither is there salvation in any of them. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Together we read again, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Bless the Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord Jesus. Here in a portion of God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Church anthem, Faith of Our Father, 102 from the Pentecostal anthem, Faith of Our Father.
Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. At this time, we'll be moving around, meeting and greeting each other while we sing this song, In the Rock I Will Hide. In the Rock.
grateful for life. You know, God has really, really, really been keeping me time. And I'm so grateful. You know, every day as I wake up, I just give God thanks for his many blessings, for how he has protected me. You know, that is always my first prayer to God. Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for protection. Some of you might not understand, but God has been good. And sometimes when you are in position like me, persons who are here position like me, you really have to give God thanks for how he has protected you and how he has kept you, especially in these times. And so I'm grateful to God for how, you know, he keeps me going from day to day. I'm grateful for the Holy Ghost within me. Without that today, then I could not have survived on this journey. And so I really give God thanks for the Holy Ghost for keeping me alive spiritually today without the Holy Ghost. You know, it's, it's really hard, I know, but when you have the Holy Ghost within you, the God who is an awesome God, I can say and testify you today that he's able to keep you. And so today, this is always my consolation, and this is always my desire to keep the Holy Ghost alive in my soul, because I know that it's my hope. Praise the name of Jesus. When and bless me with the Holy Ghost. That is my hope. That is what is going to take me from here to eternity. And so, I want to keep the Holy Ghost alive in me. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus today. We are here to give God thanks and to worship and to praise His name. And so today, I am your moderator today, Sister Millet Watson, as you all know, or some of you may not know. For those who don't know, you know today, Sister Millet Watson. And as I'm here to be your moderator today, today is the order, I'm going to give you the order of service. The order of service today will be having welcome and announcements by Sister Pauling, Barbara Pauling. After which, we will be having praise and worship by Sister Marie Bailey. Then we'll have the collecting of the uh, offering, and this will be collected by Deacon Knox, Deacon Gay, and Brother Archer. The scene choir will be ministering to us. Our sermon today is from our Bishop, Bishop Farr, and we pray today that we pray for him, that God will continue to give him a word, because today we are here for the word, and we know that he is our teacher, he is our guide, and so when we come to the house of God, we shall always ask God to touch him, anoint him, and to help us to open our hearts to receive the word. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. And after which, Evangelist David will conclude for us in Jesus' name. I stand to support. Shall we praise the name of Jesus? Another beautiful Sunday, and we are alive, and we are in the house of the Lord. Can somebody just say thank you, Jesus? We are alive and well. Today I take this opportunity to welcome you all to the Shadow Apostolic Church, our first time visitors, our second time visitors, our third time Maybe you came in after the name 
things were taken up, but we are happy that you are here. And we can see you smiling. I lost track of Sister Kato to be. You know, she came on Jota the other day and she said to me, Miss Bounds, I, I couldn't make it one Sunday, but I am just coming here to tell you that I don't want to miss out on anything. I want you to know that I'm okay. And then and she said, Sister Bounds, you notice I'm never late. I said, we have that record. And Jesus has recorded that. Yes, we are going to claim you one day in Jesus' name. Stand up, Sister Kato, let us know we talk.
side. We have five from this side, five, five from that side. Testimonies of praise. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I say yes, Lord, yes. On my wings and to you. I say
job. But God kept on suffering. And over. God could become an but God keep on suffering. Oh God, for to stand up and see where we stand with him. People, I'm asking you for God's sake, make haste with your life while the sun shines. Don't let the devil rob you of your salvation. It is so sweet. And when God sees you, and when God bless you, keep it alive. Oh, hallelujah. God is a good God. Make haste today while the sun shines. God bless you.
Thank you, Jesus. Just another day. Got a bit of news. Go to 
so good in my family. Bless the Lord Jesus. As the news came, I was sitting in the living room and I remember that God says He's a present help in time of trouble. Bless the Lord Jesus. So I just got up and I went around to the bathroom and I closed the door. And I looked to the ends from whence cometh.
as we call it currently, Titan Offering. We'll be asking Deacon Gay, Deacon Knox, and Brother Archer to collect for us. Jesus name. It's hard to take the first step when I don't know the way. Each turn is so uncertain, but I learn to walk by faith. You gave me a promise. Thank you. 
blessing, blessing of the baby, and then he will break the word in Jesus' name. somebody may they choose very carefully and watch over so that oh God no harm will befall this precious life. Keep her from sickness and diseases and from evil spirits and Lord doctrine of devils. Bless and do good we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Cover them all I pray and provide all in service services so that there be no lack or want. We thank you for hearing us. We pray today. And thank you for all that you have done from conception to this point. We say thanks in Jesus' name. Keep them in your prayers. And the family, 
have spoken to them, they have done well in doing what they have done for their mother and her relatives. On a side note, we learn our long living so near, and in here until Wednesday night, that sister Yvette Taylor, she had a fire by her house, and her personal house was destroyed. And um, keep her in your prayers, and those who understand can speak to her to see what she, good thing that she has another place to live, but that was her own. And so, I know sometimes things might look like it's all right, but things have a way of taking its toll on you. So please reach out to her, find out how it goes, and if there's anything or any way that help can be given. Uh, also, Sister Monica Nelson is back in the hospital, and uh, things are not looking so good, but we never know. Suffered another um, epileptic stroke and told, or as it's described, and uh, it's really hard on the family. The daughter texts me and says she'll be making a short trip to see her, being based on the condition, the way things are. Mr. Irving is still in the same condition. We crave her prayers, and please drop by and even say I as an encouragement to the family. I thank you. Yes. And Lord, we please remember Sister Simpson yes. in your family, as you can see, age and sickness is taking its toll, and um, we have to do some other arrangements from what, that we are in the process of doing that, you'll hear more on that. Today we looked, we read from the scriptures, from the book of Acts chapter 3 and a portion of 4. For those of us who, the handful of us, I say, who we study together, you will find that some of all the, the sermon we presented as elements of the study. We did some words like us to do peristasis, and peristasis is to take note of the time when things happen as they are recording. Yeah. We are going to come to that in a circle. Yeah. We also look at chronographia, and chronographia has to do with the order in which things are, are written in which they appear. So you'll find that. Anyway, I won't worry with that since you're not interested, but just for the young minds yes. and for those who will know how sometimes we arrive at and what we are searching for. Yes. So that, that although we know there are three types basic of, of sermons, the topical, expository, and contextual, so all sermons fall in one of three categories. So whatever one we do, it falls in either whether we know it or not. In the same way, when we have other persons who have to listen to us from other religious persuasion and denominations, they sometimes don't like what you preach, but they can admire the way in which it was presented. Because those who have uh, done it, the study would have known that there was an order. So today we look at, at chapter 3. Yeah. And uh, again, thanks for those who are, who are here. And uh, we have Mr. Layton over there. And he dropped in some time, but this morning when I came at 10, he was already here. 
and he's still here. If I go late and work on it, like, I'm not giving her trouble today. Cool. <laughs> but the Lord is good. Yes. Lord is good. All right, we Acts chapter three, and uh, this occurs just after the Holy Ghost at Pentecost. Yes. And uh, we would have noted that the disciples were traumatized when Jesus was uh, gone away from them. Many of them, although they heard and had knowledge of what was going to happen, I guess they wish that they had not earned rights or it would not happen and so soon. They thought that the Lord Jesus, his coming, would have meant that the, this Messiah would have been a military leader who would have formed a mighty army in Israel and would have overthrown the Roman government and rid Israel from under bondage. Because when Jesus came, Israel, although a sovereign nation, was under the rule of the Roman government. And we would have known a bit of that, we older ones, when the British ruled Jamaica, we were called a colony because we were colonized. And everything had to be done the British way. We would have known uh, some laws that no longer existed that were in the time of the British and it was abolished in the 70s. Anybody can remember one important piece of law that, huh? What's that again? All right? You don't, you don't know that uh, what is it called? The one that you could be charged for just being at a place without lawful excuse. What is it called again? The officer? All right. Uh, yeah, just there's a word for it. Then you could be that, like if you were, for instance, in 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 Sanson or Tichfield Hill without lawful excuse. You could be arrested and charged. What was that law? Huh? No, not yes. Loitering was was one. There's another one. But loitering. So you are in your own country, but you are loitering. Can you imagine? Yeah. That way. So Israel had that kind of problem where they could be charged if they were in a wrong a place that was considered out of their territory. Yeah. Now, so Peter and John, and I, I want you to note, uh, I'm being calm today and easy for now. Now, Peter and John. Peter and John are an association. And they were with Jesus, and they kept the association. Jesus was no longer there, but they were still friends, and they operated. Yes. Another thing to note is that if you see Peter and John, and Peter is mentioned first, it means that Peter was a senior. Yes. Senior not in age, but senior in administration. Yes. That he was there. He, he was the person that was leading the team. Peter and John. And you'll find it all over the Bible, the New Testament. And sometimes it's, it is a switch because the other one takes leadership. So Peter was a leader. And they went together 
end of the temple, I wondered what the door first. At the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. Yes, sir. Now the Jews, remember now, we are looking on time. And if you see time mentioned in anything, it is of importance and should not be overlooked. So time yes. being the ninth hour. Yes. Then it is was a custom of the Jews to pray at least three times per day. They did a 9 a.m. prayer at the temple, and I said the temple because there's only one temple in the world. And the rest of them are called synagogues. So they went to the temple at 9, 3, and that sunset. Okay? So they went being that there, there are several writers who believe that they have not gone there to be a part of the Jewish crowd since there were no apostolics, but they went after what the crowd was still there. Because only certain people could have gone inside the temple. The rest of them waited outside and they prayed outside. I want you to keep it because you have heard the story over and over again. And if I do it the same way, you would not be edified. Yes. Now, a certain man, on name, yes. was, it was lame from his mother's womb. And the historians say, at this point, he was about 40 years old. It is in the scripture someplace else. 40 years. But he was laid from his mother's womb, was carried, whom they laid daily at the gate of the temple, please note, yes. which is called beautiful, to ask arms of them that entered into the temple. Yes. Not for you, but the gate of the temple was called beautiful. Yes. And they place him there because it is believed that the Jews were very generous, especially when they are going to pray and when they are coming back. So your gener generosity will be measured. You couldn't walk and pass all these people who went straight and did not do something. So they place him at that. Those of us who read the newspaper read a very disturbing article last week in one of the papers observed, I think, this man in Richard Clarendon, he has a number of children and he, he became blind. And he has children, a girl, 16, a boy, whatever, and he sent them home in the evenings after school to beg. What a dangerous position. He lives in Clarendon. A little way off, so he sent them out, and they'll be out there till 10, 11 o'clock at night, the children begging for their survival in Jamaica, Land we love. A girl yeah. moving hearts. I'm sure that that situation being highlighted, it would be dealt with. So they put the man at the gate of the temple, not the door, yes. the gate. Yes. Now, who thought the Lord, although he was lame, it is laid from his waist down, but he could see yes. positive. So he seen Peter and John, about to enter into the temple. And please note, this could only be written that he said he saw. Yes. If the police was writing a statement, they could not say he saw. Yes. Or I, I couldn't say they saw. You, I could have to say he said he saw. Yes. I remember. Yes. Right, right, officers of the law? Yes, you cannot tell a person what he sees. Even if he's looking at you, you can't say him say. You might find out later that he's blind. Yes. That when looking at me, in my direction, you know, sir. Yes. So only he can say, I saw. Yes. Technicality. All right, so he seen them coming, 
uh, ask and uh, Sir Pisano, Peter fastened his eyes, and that is to look steadfastly upon him. Yes. With John, again, as Peter lead man, he fastened his eyes with John. Yes. Uh, he said, Look on us. And Peter, yes, and he gave in unto them. Again, expectation yes, yes, yes. okay because you cannot tell what he expected but I guess when it was all over and they were writing the story he could say I looked on them expecting to receive yes. are you are you with me yes, yes. don't sound technical I really am and uh, then Peter said silver and gold have I not and I hope Peter didn't pause for too long because this would have been very devastating. If you're looking, he said, look at us. And he's looking steadfastly. And he says, silver and gold have I not. Lord Jesus, a spirit God. But, look at the word but. You see, brother, I'm um, still teaching. I love to teach, you know, how, how to study. But, Yes. Contrasting conjunction. Yes. He's saying things are going to change. Yes. He's saying, but such as I, I, I have, give I thee. He must have wondered what the, what is that? Yes. I don't see with anything. He not no back. No, 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 so, no, no big. What is this? Yes. yes. Oh my God Almighty. Yes. 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 Then Peter said, Silver and gold have I not, such as I have, give I thee, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Rise up and walk. Yes. In the name, look, I'm not saying Jehovah is not the name. I'm not saying Yahweh, Yeshua. All those are wonderful names. Yes. But I have not proven this. But Peter said, in the name of Jesus Christ. And there were, it is said that there were more than one Jesus at the time. But only one Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Yes. And again, sometimes we pray, but we are not definitive. Yes. So we cannot, we don't know what to expect. And you, you, when you leave your prayer, is answer you don't know. Are you there with authority? Yes. Rise and walk because Peter anointed yes. authority in the spirit. Yes. And I could hear Peter coming from Pentecost, past speaking another language. Yes. You don't hear it, you don't feel it. Yes. When he when he when he shakes and he turns on his head over. the right hand lifting him up and immediately how oh, quickly immediately immediately that means there was a response Peter that felt now that he was only holding his hand but there was no pressure on his hand because he was he was operating on his own and his angle bones received strength now, brethren, walk with me. Yes. Man come to bed 40 years old from him born from his mother's womb, him had a spinal problem and he can walk. Yes. 
Okay? Yes. I, I'm just saying it's fine. Yes. And this is its condition. And people around, I know people begging who have condition, some come to pray, some curious, some this and some that. I want us to look at the situation. And eat <coughs> that delay, man. Yes. Leaping up. Stood. Uh, only Brother Mali could have shown me how you leave. By the way, how long you go? Be curious. Could you show me long jump? Yes. Just come and show me long jump. Yes. I mean, I understand you. Come on. Yes. Show me is what? High jump? Wait, wait here. Triple jump. Triple jump. Yeah. You know triple Show me. Show me. Because that man must have done triple jump. Go on. What kind of ceremony is this? Yeah. Show me triple jump. Show
just looked at some situation. And it's not only you know, it's the Holy Spirit. And all I kept on myself kept saying, Great are you, Lord. I looked at every situation. I looked at every condition. And I didn't weep. I didn't mourn. I didn't complain. But I started to praise my God. I said, Great.
and they gave what we call in Jamaica a box. We didn't deserve it. But then I looked to God, and out of nowhere came a text. Some persons wrote, Yes, we are all the way in Israel. We were just talking about you. They were saying the opposite of what the person said that you have kicked my spirit. But I looked to God. When the thing came, I just looked to God. And they said this. And I'm not here praising my sin. I'm just here to say what God can do. Because I'm no better than anybody else here. Regardless of wherever you are. We serve the same God, we have the same Father. Yeah. And they said, Miss, you have a heart of God. Keep on doing what you are doing. Yeah. If you ask a favor, He has an answer for you. He has an answer for me. He has an answer for all of us. He's concerned about all of us. And so today, as we leave here with this words, put some praise on it. Stop looking at the negatives. One way to turn the negatives into positives is to praise your God regardless of the situation. There are some things that money can't buy, but there's a deep sense of peace.
gratitude of praise. Oh, let the world. 